In this video, we're going to be exploring the different kinds of wallets the cryptocurrency space has, which kinds of wallets are the most and least used, and how to get started. So, without further ado, let's pull out our wallets. Fat kiddo, fat, fat kiddo. Welcome back everyone, Coach K here. Today we're going to talk about the different types of cryptocurrency wallets, as you can see. Online wallets, paper wallets, hardware wallets, mobile wallets, desktop wallets, etc. And I'm going to go in more detail for most of these uh, in other videos. So I'm just going to basically brush the, the tip of, of what they actually do. You'll see fully what they do in other videos following. Them. So the first type of wallet that you can use, and it is the safest, in my opinion, is a, a hardware wallet. So a hardware wallet, basically a Trezor Nano. There are other kinds of wallets as well that are hardware but these are the two main ones so a trezor basically stores your crypto off exchange um in cold storage basically because it's off the exchange and so it keeps your coins very safe and if you're not planning to move those coins in and out uh, of trades it's a good place to leave your coins okay so either of those are a great option uh and that's what a hardware wallet is it's off exchange and it's cold storage because you disconnect it from your computer and then it's not connected any longer very safe okay so we also have jackson exodus wallet these are desktop wallets so what desktop wallets are is basically a wallet that uh you know you can put on your computer and what this gives you the ability to do is store your coins on your actual desktop computer uh, in a safe manner. And uh, the difference between a software and a hardware wallet is, is that a, a software wallet is still connected to the internet. So it is not technically cold storage. So we call those a hot wallet. So the little bit higher chance of volatility, potentially if someone tried to hack you, they're very safe still. So just keep that in mind. But they're a little bit higher risk than having something like a Trezor if you're holding those coins and not planning to move them. Then again, as long as you're on a security connection and stuff, you shouldn't have any issues. It's just something to keep in mind if you're having, uh, if you're someone who has, uh, you know, a large amount of coins. Okay. So we have a mobile wallet. MetaMask is also a wallet that you can put on Google Chrome or Brave browser. Um, and that's a wallet that is connected to the internet. Um, those are online and also they have a mobile wallet now, which is very cool. Uh, so basically a mobile wallet is the same as all the other wallets, um, but it is a hot wallet on your phone uh, and it keeps your cryptocurrencies there so you can bring them wherever you go and pay for things directly from your phone using QR code or receive payment using QR code um or just sending the addresses etc okay so that's a pretty cool way to do it there's another uh, example of one bread wallet um it's a well-known one they've had a good track record they have lots of coins you can store on there as well as trust wallet who has uh, a lot of the erc20 and erc223 tokens on there uh, and you can use that wallet and actually they got bought out by binance one of the biggest exchanges in the world for crypto so it's quite a reputable company we also have paper wallets, so you'll see this in my Mew video, how to create one, but basically a paper wallet could be as simple as you typing, um, writing down your private and public key, and then putting it somewhere safe, okay? Um, so your Bitcoin address, for example, would be one of them, and then your private key, and you could keep the QR code, um, those are important too. You could just print that out yourself and do it, um, but uh, you, you don't really even need the QR code. You really just need the private key to get unlocking the wallet. So yeah, you just need that and put it in a super safe location like a lock deposit box or inside of a safe because those are great places to keep it so you don't have any issues later. Okay, so let's get moving on to exchange wallets. So an exchange wallet is no different than any of the other wallets. There are a hot wallet, they are uh, holding your private keys for you. So just keep that in mind that if you have a lot of cash flow, like a lot of Bitcoin, you may want to keep that on a hardware wallet or software wallet off the exchange so that you hold the private keys. So if anything happens with the exchange, you're still fine. OK, but if you're going to use that for trading, that's a different story. OK, so exchange wallets. They have, you know, they all look like this. So Binance is an example. They have a deposit and withdrawal address. And you want, to, you want someone to send you that, you, you send them to the deposit address. And when you want to take it out and send it to someone else, you use the withdrawal. And you do that with all the wallets. So um, we'll explain that more in other videos. 
But I uh, hope this was a pretty good explanation of all the different types of crypto wallets that you can use. And I'll see you guys soon. Coach K, signing off. Back, you know, back, back, you know.